Another good thing to know about um, taking your uh, clip is that you can edit in the camera and that's usually the fastest easiest way to edit. So you could practice and if you don't like what you're what you saw then you just uh, reverse your camera and re-record over it until you're looking at something in the camera using your um, re-recorder mode that you like. And get it right the first time is usually the fastest, easiest way to do it. Once you have something that you're ready to upload into your camera, you need something called a firewire. I believe this is the only way to do it. It's the only way I know how to do it if you're using a video camera. A webcam is something different. And that has, if you look at this, this there's this one end, that's a USB port. Most of us, if we have a pretty modern computer, know what a USB port is. And then this one is a little different, and so this is why it's called a firewire. And you might want to see how that shape is, and make sure that you have one of those. You might have to buy it, and that you would ask for a firewire, and then, uh, so this one, this small little plug, it plugs into your camera. But you're going to look at your camera and find a hole and look, maybe look at your manual and find a little hole like that, not nearly as wide as the USB ports. This picture, you'll see my camera on the left and my computer on the upper right. The smaller end of the firewire goes into the camera. In my case, you can see where that plugs in, but your camera will be different and the other larger USB end goes into your computer. There's a close-up of how that USB plug goes in there and then you'll see me sitting in front of my camera which is mounted on that inexpensive little tripod and you can also see my computer over my left shoulder. That's how I am when I'm talking to you. It's no more high-tech than that. And finally we have a couple pictures of a web camera set up that's very easy. It has a USB end of a cord that goes in in the same way to your computer. There's a disk with some software that you'll have to install unless you're lucky enough to have an Apple, in which case the whole thing is built in and far easier.